Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. London is burning, not just figuratively, but quite literally. As the temperatures here soar to about 40 degrees Celsius, something that is unprecedented, it becomes glaringly obvious that London is not prepared to handle this. The London Fire Brigade has been stretched to its limits with multiple fires breaking out in several different locations. Homes, restaurants, cars and fields have been set ablaze to the point that the London Mayor had to declare an emergency to tackle this. Extreme weather conditions have always created several problems in the country the most vulnerable people are the elderly the small children and those suffering from respiratory conditions thousands of deaths took place during the heat waves of 2020 public health england estimates the excess death to be over 2500 and also recorded for the very first time people younger than 65 years of age having died during that heat wave. Several thousands of deaths are also expected this year due to these heat waves. But as we can see, with the rising temperatures, with the erratic weather conditions, this is a phenomenon that is not going away in a hurry. And cities like London and others need to up their infrastructure to tackle this head on. India and Pakistan have already seen five successive heat waves this year and Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, Brazil and Australia have also recorded some groundbreaking temperatures this year. Most recently, there have been several wildfires reported in France, Spain, Portugal, Greece, Croatia and Albania with thousands of residents evacuated and several hundreds reported to have died. Meanwhile, huge waves, some of them as high as houses, uh, were seen flooding into Hawaii over this weekend. While the world grapples with these extreme weather conditions, Europe and United States, two of the world's largest contributors of carbon emissions, have seen their commitments to limit these emissions go down. In the past week, we've seen one of the candidates for Prime Minister say we need to suspend the all-consuming desire to achieve net zero by 2050. Another claims it was wrong of us to set the net zero target. And the front runner spent two years at the Treasury blocking additional climate spend. So it's all well and good for the Minister to talk about the need for investment. But how can we, and more importantly, the investors out there, have any confidence that this will continue? This is a government that is failing to get to grips with the climate change emergency in fundamental ways. The, the most glaring being on home energy efficiency and insulation. They don't care about the climate emergency enough they won't invest for the future they face both ways on key issues like onshore wind and they're a day-to-day -day make up as you go along back of the fag packet government greenhouse gas concentration sea level rise and ocean heat have broken new records half of humanity is in the danger zone from floods droughts extreme storms and wildfires no nation is immune yet we continue to feed our fossil fuel addiction what troubles me most is that in facing this global crisis, we are failing to work together as a multilateral community. Nations continue to play the blame game instead of taking responsibility for our collective future. We cannot continue this way. We must rebuild trust and come together to keep 1.5 alive and to build climate resilient communities. Promises made must be promises kept. And scientists say this is going to get worse. It's not just going to get hotter, but it will also get longer, pushing this country to the brink of a near meltdown because of these burning conditions of the weather. Scientists are also saying that these weather conditions have a direct correlation to the amount of greenhouse gases that are released in the atmosphere. With the UK and the others not doing enough to curb those greenhouse gases, this could just be the new normal. 
in London. This is Rohi Khan for Mojo Story. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.